Hello guys, in today's video, we would be implementing a simple login page in Flutter. So in this login page, we would be having two input fields that would be uh, entered by the user. So the first input field would be the email field and second would be the password field. Both of these fields would be validated uh, upon clicking a button. So let's dive into the code and let's see how to do it. So first I'll import the Flutter package. So Flutter, yeah. Then I will include the void main function that will have a run app, then new material app, then home, then my custom class, my app. Okay, fine. Uh, then we'll then we'll have a stateful widget of my app. Okay, uh, this name should be same as this name. Okay, then uh, we'll have a container. So we'll replace the container with a scaffold. Okay, scaffold. Then we'll have app bar, app bar. Then we'll have a title, title as text. Let's name it as demo login page, right? Then let's uh, center the title to true. Then let's say we have a body. Uh, in this body, we have a column. And let's have the columns children. Then let's first run this uh, application. Let's see what is the output, okay. So as you can see, the application is up and running and uh, we have included the app bar, the toolbar on the application. So now let's have a text form field. So basically in Flutter, we have two uh, input fields, uh, version. basically in Flutter, we have uh, two versions of input fields. One is text, fields, text field and second one is text form field. So uh, we will be have uh, we will be implementing text form field in this tutorial uh, because text form fields have extra attributes uh, such as validator which validates the uh, current field uh, against some values. So we will be seeing one by one. Uh, so let's start. So let's implement a text form field text form field here in the column and uh, uh, let the uh, uh, decoration attribute as input decoration. Then uh, let's have the label text as email and uh, then let's have the <coughs> uh, hint text as enter email right then uh, what we'll be doing is we'll copy this text form field from here and uh, then have we'll have another text form field which will be named as password right and enter password then <coughs> what we'll do is we'll have a validator uh, attribute in both of these text form uh, fields. Okay, so I will explain what is the validator uh, attribute. Now, uh, in order to uh, validate the current uh, email text form field or password text form field, uh, we have a attribute called as validator, which will validate some values that we will be mentioning uh, in some time. Okay, and if that value is uh, correct, then it will be validated. If the value is not correct, then whatever error we, we would be uh, whatever error we would be displaying, then it would be displayed on the application. So let's see how it is done. So uh, at first we have to include a variable. Uh, we have to include a uh, we have to include a variable uh, such as uh, let's say scaffold key. Okay. So we have to include a key. So it will be global key, right? and uh, the type of that key would be scaffold state and we'll have an, another key which will be uh, called as form key uh, it would be another global key right and uh, it would be named as form state form state okay fine so what are these two keys now scaffold key will hold the current context of the scaffold right and the form key would hold the current context of the form but we haven't included any form widget yet so what we'll be doing is we'll wrapping our column widget with the form widget okay now this form widget has an attribute called as key now we'll uh, put that form key here and then uh, we have a scaffold key now it will be used uh, uh, later i would i would be showing how to use that now we have the two text form fields so we had the validator also so in the validator it is a function okay and it will have a value right this value if the current email value okay if value dot contains value dot contains an act symbol okay so if 
not value of contain at symbols if the email field does not contains an at symbol what we will do is okay we will display an error like email uh, id is not valid or else we will put it as null we'll do nothing if the valid is if the email is valid now we will add the same validate action to the password field too now what we'll do here is if value if value if value dot length is less than 6 what we will display is password password length should be greater than 6 right password length should be greater than 6 if this is the case then we we would be accepting that password also now uh, they both have an another attribute called as on save so on saved what will be same value uh, we will be holding so on save of this on save of the email we have to save this to a particular variable so let's see so i have included a variable now i have to declare that variable here uh, so string let's declare that variable let's declare a password variable too so let's have this password and let's go into the text form field for the password let's say on saved let's say val then uh, the password field equal to val right uh yeah so what we have done is if this validation if this validation uh, is successful right if this validation is successful then on saved would be called and on in, in on saved we, we are passing the value uh value of the uh text field to the pass variable right and same for the case for email now uh let's refresh the page let's see what is the output so we have got the email as well as the password field now we have to uh implement one uh reach button so on the click of the button all these fields will will be validated we have declared the validation here but now we have to execute this validation if the validation is successful or not so on the click of that submit button this validation would be checked so let's have an reach button okay that would be child and it would have a text right there let's say the text would be submit and on pressed of this uh, sorry on pressed of this button let's uh, implement that thing that should be valid validated so if if now we have to check like uh, these two text fields are included in the form key now we have to check for the form key so if form key dot current state so we we have to check the state of the uh, current state of the uh, form dot validate now this this function will validate uh, the validators that we have included okay so that will check for it and if this is successed or if this becomes successful so it will go in the if condition now now what we'll do is we'll again uh, save the form key current state okay we'll save the form key current state and we have to show the snack bar snack bar basically is a function okay snack bar basically is a function that is used to Uh, that will be uh, that will be uh, using to uh, display a snack bar uh, in the application okay right below uh, so that uh, we get a confirmation that the form is uh, validated successfully right so we'll have that uh, custom function so i have declared this function now now let's have a snack bar variable so snack bar snack bar equal to new snack bar it will have a content let's say the content would be a text right we have to display a text the text would be like login login successful right so we have included that text now what we have to do is we have to get the scaffold key so we have to get the scaffold key that will hold the current state of the scaffold that we have implemented okay so what we have to do is we have to get the scaffold key then then we have to get the current state of the scaffold key then show snack bar what snack bar we have to show we have to show the current snack bar that we have uh, implemented as the variable now that's it now if we refresh the page let's see what happens yeah so if we have got the submit page uh, submit button let's have uh, some padding around the submit button let's say padding of uh, let's say 15 and let's refresh it okay we have got that padding of 15 and uh, let's uh, let's test the uh, implementation so i'll click on the submit button So yeah, uh, so both of the text fields have been validated, uh, and uh, the errors, the corresponding errors have been shown there. Like for email, we haven't Im- imported any email, so email ID is not valid. So that validation is uh, getting uh, a query. And for the password, the length of the password is less than six. Okay, so actually we have not implemented anything. So let's uh, uh, let's put some uh, text there in both of the text fields and see uh, what is the output. 
so let's submit it now the password uh, validation is successful but the email uh, validation is uh, again showing some error so what is what the error is showing is email is not valid so we had the condition that it should have this at symbol so let's add that at symbol here and let's check if the uh, email is validated or not so both of the both of them are getting validated now let's see why this snack bar is not shown uh, so i will click that show snack bar method this is the method new snack bar content text log is successful scaffold key uh, yeah yeah so i have not included that scaffold key in the scaffold uh, main widget so let's add that key scaffold key then it will uh, then the scaffold would be initialized right so now this should work let's uh, uh, restart the application let's add some text here add the uh, something something.com and let's add the password and let's say submit so yeah uh, as you can see the snack bar is shown as one is successful so guys that uh, that was it for the login page in flutter a basic login page in flutter uh, so keep watching my video and please subscribe on my channel to watch uh, new content uh, uh, i'll keep updating you uh, whenever uh, there's something new yeah thank you for watching bye